Hey, so I'm going to uh, continue on with John uh, 9, 5. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, anyway, Jesus is the light of the world. We have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. So, and I have figured it out. By I, I mean the Holy Spirit showing me because uh, within myself, I nothing. But with God, all things are possible. Even Lisa Pingle's memory. Uh, yes. Uh, girls, birds, anywho. So, like, we, at, at Sunday school, we just started our uh, Sunday school on the Sermon on the Mount, which is going to be amazing, by the way. Anyhow, so, it's not so much that I have been angry. See, I thought, I was thinking it was, I was angry. It's not that. Now, when you're feeling overwhelmed that the darkness is closing in on you, it comes out is that because you're letting that darkness overwhelm you. But I was being overwhelmed by the darkness. People, we have never, ever, ever, ever seen anything like we are seeing in America today. The, the darkness, the uh, chaos, the unrest that we are seeing in our beloved free country today as we have ever seen it. And if we are not careful, and one of my friends at Bible study reminded me yesterday that what you put in, you know, also that is what comes out. So you got to be careful and you got to keep your mind focused on Christ, especially in these times, because it's going to get harder. We have seen nothing yet, but that's okay. Jesus overcame the world. That's okay. And we know that this is coming. And it's going to get worse. But when we stay focused on God and through the Sermon on the Mount, which I learned today, <clears throat> you know, Jesus is telling all the Beatitudes, okay, uh, be merciful or you show mercy or you will not get any mercy. Give grace, you won't get any grace. Oh, girls, boys, I have been the most unmerciful, unloving, unkind person. Yes, it's come out of my mouth, but it's been in my heart. And I don't know about you, but I know God sees my heart. I don't care if you think, well, look at her. She is the kindest, precious, most loving person ever gets mad. God knows me. God knows you. You're not hiding anything. Okay, so anyway, so been feeling all this and stuff. And I realized today through Sunday school, Sunday school is so important, people. Going to church is so important. Yes, it is important that you sit with God yourself. You have that closeness, that time alone, that relationship, just soaking in his company and his presence. But it's also very important that you are together with believers at the church, uh, your circle of friends, uh, because especially in these times, because it is so dark. Like I said before, Big Daddy Weave said it so much better than I did. Uh, that in this day and, and and the times right now that we are living in, that not one person has been touched, not touched with the darkness, the, the really thick, heavy darkness that is around us. But when you have the Holy Spirit living inside you, you could be that one person in that whole area, wherever you are, wherever God has you, that has his light shining in that darkness to help others see how to get out of that darkness. So let your light shine, but stay focused, stay in relationship with him. And in the Beatitudes, when it says, if you don't show mercy, you will not get mercy. If you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. If you don't love, you won't be, uh, be loved. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Just read it. Well, what I learned is, I am not, I cannot do that. I am not a loving person by nature. I am not a forgiving person by nature. I am not a merciful person by nature. However, I love being loved. I love being shown mercy. I love being being kind to. And I love blessings coming my way. But I am a person who uh, that does not come natural. So what I learned is, I don't have to. Jesus did it for me at the cross. 
And he was talking to his disciples and he said, this is what I come to show you as an example in the flesh, how to live. Now I'm telling you, this is how kingdom living is. But I know you're not perfect. You're not naturally this way. You won't naturally want to forgive those who persecute you. You won't naturally want to show mercy to them. You won't naturally want to forgive them. You won't naturally want to be thankful for them. You won't naturally want to pray for them. But if you ask me for grace, that I will give you that mercy that you need. If you ask me for the uh, thankfulness that you need by my grace, I will give it to you. If you ask me for the grace to show those who are persecuting you the love of Jesus, then I will give it to you because it's through me, only through me, that you can build that house on the rock. The rock. Not rocks. Rock. It is only through me that you can withstand the storms of life, not, not through anything else. It's only by my grace can you do it. So man, does that free me and my mind knowing that I am not able to handle this overwhelming darkness in my life. The feeling that I'm being swallowed, that I'm being sucked in through this darkness that is on our world. Jesus knows I can't handle it. He even says in the, that very day, in the, the last days, that even if it were possible, if God had not shortened those days, even the very elect would be deceived. So in those very days, if possible, the very elect could be sucked into that overwhelming darkness. But we have Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God living inside of us. And by his grace... He pulls us out of that darkness. He has pulled us out of that darkness. And he has given us the okay to ask for that grace that he knows that we do not have on our own. Isn't that freeing? Doesn't that make you excited to know that he not only tells you this is the way he wants you to live. He shows you how to live it. And then he repeats it to his disciples. The one who has already accepted him. The one that are, is going on to teach others that he says, you don't have to do this alone. I know you cannot do this alone. You can do it through me, through my grace. My grace is sufficient for what you need. My grace is sufficient for what I have called you to do. So when you feel overwhelmed by darkness and it starts shining through to the world by hatefulness, I was at Sam's yesterday, and this is not a proud moment, and the lady at Sam's, I'm very sorry. I do, however... Well, I'm not even going to say that because that's not being gracious. Anyway, uh, anyway, so I did not look like a child of God. It's in one of those overwhelming moments and it's like, you know what? It comes out ugly. I don't want to come out ugly. I want it to come out Jesus. I want people in that overwhelming darkness to know that there is light shining. So God, by your grace, I pray not just for me to have that the, your grace and the memory to ask you for your grace when I don't have it to get through whatever situation it is that we need to get through. I'm asking for all those watching my video right now. I'm asking for each and every one when they feel overwhelmed by the darkness that your grace, that they are, are reminded to ask for your grace to help them through these situations. Heavenly Father, I love you. I praise you. I give you glory and honor and thanksgiving in my life. I thank you that your light is in my life. The Holy Spirit lives in me to teach me, to guide me, to guard my heart, to guard my tongue, to give me grace where there is no grace, where there's mercy, where there is no mercy. Life, eternal life, where before I was dead, but now I have life. Heavenly Father, we lift you, we thank you, and praise your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. I love you, brothers and sisters. Do not give up. Do not give up. When you feel that darkness overwhelming you, sucking you into that black hole, you let Christ, you let God, through the Holy Spirit, 
shine his light into that darkness to make that darkness go. Because when the light shines, the darkness is gone, guys. Okay? Hey, I love you. God loves you more. Have a great day.